Some Staten Islanders continue to slam the mayor and the city for housing some migrants in their borough. About 20,000 people have been bused to New York City. About 100 of them are being housed in hotels like the Comfort Inn in the Travis section of Staten Island. Elected officials at a virtual community board meeting railed on the city and the feds. They're talking about $1 billion in costs. That is just unsustainable for the taxpayers. It's unfair to the taxpayers. The decision by the Republican governors of Texas and Florida sending busloads of people to New York City is reaping havoc on city resources. Mayor Adams has already established more than 40 emergency shelters using hotels. Those staying here on Staten Island only represent about 2% of the migrants arriving in New York. And to that point, the mayor saying no exceptions will be granted to any borough. Staten Island and other uh, communities, they are going to, everyone is going to see asylum seekers. So all the calls that I'm getting from elected officials, all the calls that I'm hearing from people of saying, you know, um, please not here, uh, that is just can't happen. This is a citywide crisis and all of us are going to be impacted. And Staten Island is going to be impacted like the other four boroughs. I caught them twice in my vehicles going and robbing my clothes and they robbed $88 from me. Okay, they didn't know about the $88 because it's in my pants pocket. This man owns the property across the street from the hotel. He says security cameras show his property being call. looted on I multiple occasions since last okay. week. I don't want to hear they don't know better. I feel for them and I mean that. I really mean that. I'm not just saying it. I feel for them too. But there has to be better control for the people of Staten Island and for the people of Travis and for the migrants too. Not everyone out here is opposed to hosting immigrants from some local residents to a coalition that includes City Harvest and religious organizations. They've been donating crucial supplies, including clothing and food. But those who live out here say they right now are in need of some help as well. In the Travis section of Staten Island, Arthur Chien, Fox 5 News.